What is up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Uh, I apologize for the late start. I have been very busy today cleaning stuff up. Uh, IRL stuff. I am joined once again by Pug and Cosmo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Uh, so I have something I want to say before I get started here. I planned to, to switch from VC Face, my current VTubing program, over to a new program called Waterdo. And uh, I've hit a very nasty snag. Uh, the reason I wanted to switch over is because I got a new camera for better face tracking. And for some reason, it doesn't want to work with VC Face because VC Face has not been updated in at least a year and the protocols have changed. But it will work with water though. The problem with water though is I imported my model, I converted it and the animations and everything. And for some reason, the animations are absolutely stiff. They're not applying physics at all. And I'm trying desperately to get in touch with someone who can help me fix that because otherwise it's just well, it really does not look good at all. But anyways, uh, before we uh, go to bed for the evening here, I actually wanted to see about something. Are we going to finally change out of our Jinbei? Uh, hopefully. Actually, I can do that now. <laughs> but I finally fixed my hair. Did you now? Oh yes, that's right. I forgot you did that. And I, I, also, got a, I also got a cap that kind of fits the ensemble here. Didn't we do that at, the, at some point during the last stream? Uh, no, we did not. Well. No. I also did not have those gloves. Or those shoes, I think. Anyway. I don't remember. Let's, uh... These that I had, or was it these? Oh, please change the shoes before you continue with this heinous right. fashion crime. Right, right. I, I don't want to be a shoebie. What? A shoeby. It's someone, one of those heathens who wears socks with sandals. Hi, Dark. How you doing? How you doing today? <laughs> okay, but what if I do that? And then you, sh then you're bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> Unless you're impoverished, <laughs> then there's no, no. judgment. Damn, I should have said, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm poor. I'm... I have no money. This is a donation uh -huh, uh -huh. stream to give me money. For sure, definitely. Uh huh. Totally. The, I will. I will give exception though to yoga shoes. They kind of look like sandals, but if you're in a yoga class, you you should be wearing socks probably. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that. Dark. That's that is the worst. What happened? Oh yeah. Uh. Dark has uh, says they think they have fleas. Oh, like yeah, that, that their sucks. dog got it from another dog and gave it to them. Yeah, I, I I've been there too. I had that happen, and I don't even own a dog. Insectoids yeah, are cat worse. Once upon a time, I know that much. Yep. Uh, getting rid of it took a lot of time. They loved my ankles for some reason, and I don't even understand. Well, I understand why they went after me. The same reason mosquitoes always go after me. Uh. Doesn't mean I'm happy with it, though. 
I'll leave the glasses on for now, though. I mean, they're they're a required part of every outfit now. You can't take them off ever. I don't know. I do. They're a requirement. You must keep them on at all times. But yeah, I think it was borax that we sprinkled all around the house that got rid of the please. Do you have carpeted floors or are you and do you have hardwood floors or something? Anyway, off to Pleasure Plateau we go. Cosmo, do you approve I'm of that dying. name for Mesa Goza? <laughs> I hate it. What, Pleasure Plateau? Yep. Not Mountain. I mean, she hates, she hates the fact that it is that name, not the name we gave it. Hmm, true, true. Honestly, that's probably what they were going for, but the fact maybe, that it's or maybe like that pleasant level plateau. of... Mm. Something like that, I guess. Like that they didn't ask me specifically because I am the authority of Spanish. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. Oh, hello there. <laughs> hmm? Who do we have here? I know I've seen your face somewhere before. Who were you again? A thunderstorm. Oh, oh my god, right. his eyes suddenly opened up. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh. Your thunderstorm. Yes, yes, I know you. Well then, now the oh, yes. let's get going. No. Now I remember your name, grandson. Your shit face, McGee. <laughs> yeah, it really does feel like that, huh? Wait, wait, wait! Just a moment, Director Serrano. Oh, hello there, Belly. You're as lively as always. Didn't realize you were here. Of course, I'm here. As director of this academy, where else would I be? Definitely wouldn't be pretending to be a young transfer student, pretending to help with uh, taking down Team Star. <laughs> totally not. I don't know what you're talking about, where you got that idea. And do address me more properly while students are present, would you? More importantly, what are you doing out here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my office. Did we? Must have slipped in my mind. Anyway, what's it, Matt? This is the student, right? Well, yes, he is, but... I do apologize, Master Thunderstorm. You must be terribly confused. This A little bit. Is, this is Director Serrano of Blueberry Academy. As I mentioned on the phone, He's interested in accepting you as an exchange student. Yep, that's me, Director Serrano. Uh, did I not mention that? One look at our young friend here makes me suspect you indeed failed to clarify that point. Cut to the fucking Applin glasses, just... Speaking of which, why did you request Master Thunderstorm specifically to take part in your exchange program? Oh. Excellent because question. Because the simple reason is because they are definitely the protagonist of this game. <laughs> Therefore, in their first <laughs> year, they <laughs> must <laughs> perform all of these various tasks that have no actual meaning and would never happen in any kind of realistic scenario, but they're happening anyway! <laughs> Excellent question, Belly. It's very simple. You see, the reason is... Oh my god, he's bald. <laughs> uh, hmm. Why did I put in that request? I totally am pretending to have forgotten. <laughs> nice fade. <laughs> what? Huh? 
Why do you look like that? When he, when he took his when he took his hat off, I thought he was about to deliver some very somber news. I know, right? He just <laughs> I've completely forgotten. I am actually a dementia patient. I should have mentioned that before. <laughs> oh, that's right. My sources told My me there was a <laughs> Oh, that's right. My sources told me there was a, a student here worth keeping an eye on. I asked around a bit, and you do seem to have left quite an impression on a lot of people. You do seem to have left an impression on quite a lot of people. So, how is this all happening in the first months of your time here? Like, it hasn't even been a full year. I couldn't tell you. Now that I've gotten to meet you for your se for myself, yeah, I've got a good feeling about you. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Director Serrano. I'd just love for you to visit my school. You would be a breath of fresh air, so to speak. Well, that sounds a little sus to me, gotta say. Well, if anything, it can be said about Director Serrano, it's that he has a keen eye for talent. I would be thrilled if you went to Blueberry Academy and got to know the students there. But only if you're willing to, of course. Think of it as a chance to further expand upon your treasure hunt. I... If only I could accompany Master Thunderstorm, but I'm afraid I must ask you to watch over him in my stead. You will watch over him, won't you? No. Oh, of course, of course. I'd never let anything happen to one of your students. I hope this experience leads you to even more you can treasure. Best of luck to you. How many cases of bullying and child criminology have happened since we got here? Under his watch? Uh... Good question, but at least he's trying to do something about Team Star. No, he's not. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's not. We got... Yeah, we got Clive, and that's fucking it. Yeah. Fucking... Ambitch Pola isn't much help. All they do is lobotomize Rodops. Exactly. Just give me a holler whenever you're ready to head to my Blueberry Academy. Pardon the fuck did you call us? That reminds me, I found something out the other day. So... If you look at where all the Team Star bosses are, one... Two, three, four, five. They are actually meant to line up like a particular constellation. So their placement is not random. Here? No. First person what in chat to tell me what constellation that is gets a free sub. Uh, Little Dipper. No. Good, because I wasn't looking. It looks more like the Big Dipper. No. It's kind of like a sideways M. Oh. Mario! Uh... Hmm. What's the name of the... Fuck. Um... <sighs> I wish I knew constellations. All I can think of are fucking astral signs, but those aren't actual constellations, are they? No, I don't think they are. I don't think so. Wrong, though. I'll give you a hint. We already know its name. That doesn't fucking help. What do you mean we already know its name? Like, humans as a species, or us in particular specifically? Us specifically. I don't know shit, dude. We know its name from where? The game? The game. Hmm. 
dark. You still want to try? You, you've got your hint. We know it from the game. We know the name from the game. Oh, it was mentioned in the game. All right. It's not Uva, is it? No. That's not the name of the constellation. I didn't That's think that was the name of the constellation. That's just That's the name of the school. Food. That's a food. Oh, okay. Them scrapes. Um. The fuck. Brain is melting. I'll give you another hint. A person shares this name. A person shares the name. Cassiopeia? There you go! Hey! That's the only one I could think of that was like, that's actually a fucking, you know, important name historically. <laughs> of course it's fucking... Okay, new plot twist, Cassiopeia is actually the leader of Team Star. And she just wanted to find a worthy challenger to, to fucking beat down or something. That would have been interesting. But I don't think they did that, because that would have been interesting. <laughs> you know what, you're right. Honestly, Punk, I think you're the only one who hasn't... who isn't currently subbed, so... I think so, probably. Yay. There we go. Anyway, now that I got that little tidbit out of the way. And in celebration. <laughs> Yippee! Sit up straight, son. I'm worried about you. I'm sitting up straight. Are you all ready to kick off your studies abroad at Blueberry Academy? But I'm still doing my study abroad over in Kitakami. That I'm totally and... not taking a break from to, to, you know, time travel. Great then, let's get going. The fuck was that hat flip though? Yeah, for real. What was the point? Like, you didn't even do the fucking, like smooth one with the the bowler hat that people do uh, where you roll it along the length of your arm across your shoulders and down the other no the one-handed flip where you just flip it up have your fingers on the top and just put it back on your head i don't think i'm familiar with that one but that sounds like something michael jackson would do i think it was from michael jackson originally or he popularized it at the very least Ta-da! We're here! Wow, that took literally zero time. It's as though we teleported. Welcome hmm. to my Grand Blueberry Academy. This is actually just the entrance. The school itself is mostly underwater. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and I did you bet. notice? Look at how blue the place is. I can't tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. No, we totally didn't notice the blue of Blueberry Academy. Honestly. Nor the blue fucking tits on top of the building over there. Out in the great big blue sea. Literally. Let's see. What else? Uh, perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me. Why is the rest of the school underwater? Why did you pick Blueberry for the name? How do you know Director Clavel? Hmm. The second one is just he likes the color blue. 
I can guarantee you that one. Look at his outfit. His name is Cyrano, which sounds like Cyan. Is there another one that stands out to you? I mean, he own, he's the director of Blueberry Academy, which is entirely fucking blue. No, I, I mean the questions. Oh, question-wise? Um, I mean the first one, really. Like, how do you know Director Clavel? They're two directors of potentially rival schools. They're friendly schools, but friendly rivals, but rivals. Obviously, the directors would know one another. Hmm. Okay. Why is the rest of the school underwater? Really? That's what you're curious about? I mean, well, yes! <laughs> yeah. Bit unorthodox for a school. Well, it's very simple. Um, you see, it's, uh, it's to get around those, uh, international... It's to get around those national laws by being in international waters. Yep, totally. <laughs> also, it's not unusual... Oh, there you go. It's because the school building is attached to an undersea plant that develops natural resources. Right? That's what I've heard. Yes, right, exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm totally not bullshitting to, fa to save face right now. Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? Oh no, it was nothing. Do we have a guest today? We do indeed. Thunderstorm is here as part of the exchange program. Make him feel welcome, eh? Hold on. This is the exchange student from the Paldea region? I suppose I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Lacey, one of the second year students here. You must really be something special, you know. It's rare for Director Serrano to remember the name of a new student. <laughs> Just call what me out, why don't dick. you? My thing, I'm still, I'm still hang, I'm still hung up on the fucking. It's attached to a plant that develop or delves right now for resources. You're just an academy for fucking Pokemon learning. You're not an, like, are you an actual like marine biology college as well or something? Like, uh, I mean, biology in a way, I will say from what I know from the advertisements of the DLC. But we'll get to that college? eventually. A college usually does have facilities to do their own research. That is true. Yes, facilities, not both. the entire fucking building. I mean, you never know. They, it, it makes sense. They, they have Unless a it's a grant. specialized academy specifically for the one kind of study, it would not all be focused in that one area. Actually, I've got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? Totally not, because I'm a forgetful bitch and won't remember how to say any of it until it's told to me. You... you want me to do it? Yeah, well, yeah. You know, this tour guide stuff isn't my strong suit. Well, that's certainly true, but still. I imagine there must be someone more suitable than me. Let's ask oh. Sunder! Oh, please, don't take it like that. It, it's not that I don't want to show you around or anything. Director Serrano no, just no, has I this bad it. habit of pushing his duties onto me. And it's just not right. Yeah. You <laughs> little X. <laughs> really letting no. me have it today, aren't you? That said, this might be my chance to get a, get to know the new student everyone's talking about before anyone else can. That decides it. I will take on this task. She really out here just being like... Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Excellent. Now then. Let's head straight down this bridge and to the entrance. On you go. I've forgotten what happens with everything. The fuck is that? Oh, that was Pomot. 
for Pomni. She sounds like she's purring. Oh. She did, she did. Oh no. I thought that was an actual, like... I, I Like, at first I thought that was a Pokemon, and then I was like, no, that sounds like it's actually, like, coming from someone's mic. Oh, you thought it was but Pedal then, Sticks? Was just, oh, you hear my dog? That's well, my I can dog. hear that. The, I can hear the dog in the background, yes. But I was talking about the Palmot noise. So you're the exchange student people keep talking about. You don't look that strong. Bitch. Little Bill Awesome. I mean, to be fair, the DLC has hidden level 75 trainers just sprinkled around the place, so yeah. you're not that strong. Nope. At our school, you won't cut it if you can't hold your own in a Pokemon battle. Bitch, fuck off. Man, no matter how many Pokeballs I have, it's never enough. You should go do some BBQs. Once you've earned the BP, you can buy some nice Pokeballs. Okay, then. BBQs? I wonder. Something Battle Quests. Maybe. Or Battle Quiz. It's either Quest or Quiz. Hmm. And battle is one of the bees. I don't know which one, but I know it's one of them. You know, you wouldn't Blue, know it from looking Blueberry at this. Battle quiz. This is the entrance to this is the entrance to Blueberry Academy. You know, it's easy to forget, but this is actually in the Unova region, apparently. Oh yeah, technically. But, which I don't I I don't ever remember. Uh, Seeing the Univer region outside of it, because I never played black or white. Does this seem at all correct? Ah, uh, hard to say, because we're not anywhere within view of the mainland. Hmm. Our school puts a great deal of emphasis on the art of Pokemon battling. Oh, you should have brought Nimona then. <laughs> Literally. We hold official matches on the central court right here at the entrance, and any student can freely utilize this court if it's not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say that you'll be battling more here than in any other school. Damn it, we really should have brought Nimona. Actually, damn. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. What is that face she I'm making? Been entirely in her element. What is that face uh, I'm making? The, the, like, the frown there, I think it's like your surprised face. But with the glasses, it just makes you look like, oh, fuck this guy again. <laughs> Director Serrano, I think perhaps it's fine if you just leave the tour to me. Damn! <laughs> she does Ooh. not hesitate to put him in his place. Still, it's really relaxing here with the sea breeze blowing over you. Even when no one is battling, you often see students lazing about in the stands. Oh, oh! Uh, there's one other quality of our school that you'll likely find very surprising. Wild Pokémon sometimes terrestrialize here. Gross. Really? Yeah. I suppose that's not anything special to someone from Pal Paldea, is it? The terrestrial phenomenon was first discovered in the Paldea region, after all. But we've taken things a step further than you and your Terra orbs. We've developed some neat tech ourselves. Something that lets us control the terrestrial phenomenon on our own turf. I bet that piques your interest, doesn't it? Quite a bit. Um, sir, I think it will be easier to understand how all that works after we go to the lower level. If you could put a little pin in that thought. Always thinking ahead. That's our Lacey. Oh, you know what? I think it would be great if the two of you had a battle. But 
right now? Why not? I'd like to see what Sunderstorm here is capable of. And our Lacey is a member of the Elite Four in the League Club we have going here. Bruh. Say no uh, I'm sorry, you're taking at one student and throwing them right at the Elite Four? The I, fuck the kind of a- just got here on his first day. Exactly. Mm. The fuck kind of a director are you? How, how do you have this position? Out of pity, because of my severe damage. Say nothing of the influence of her. Say nothing of the influence of her father, one of the Unova region's famed gym leaders. I bet you'll learn oh, a thing right. or two. So wait, she's the daughter of a gym leader? That's what they said. Oh, I wish you would go spreading personal information without asking first. It's just not right. Stop it. Get some help. What is that scratching noise I hear, Cosmo? Me trying to clean my keyboard and also my microphone's really sensitive now. Uh, oh, well. Is that is that Magmar or Magmortar in the background there? Magmar. Magmar. Okay. Give me a good show now, you two! <sighs> I'm sorry, but there's no negotiating with Director Serrano once he gets an idea in his head. We can tell, because if he doesn't do it right then and there, he'll fucking forget it in five minutes. Yeah. There's no way that he'll move on with the tour until we've given him his battle. Besides, I have to admit I'm a little excited myself at the chance to battle you. Here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Let's give one a try to get to know each other a little better. Oh shit, they brought those back? They've always been a thing. Not always, always. It, like, double also, battles usually show up like once or twice as part of the main... Can I, uh, can I also just say it's awesome that they did a remix of the gym leader theme here? Oh, this is... you mean a remix of the Gen 1? Gen uh, Leader? Gen 5. Gen 5, ah. Oh shit. This is not very good matchup for you, huh? Well, actually, it's, be fair. It's not bad. No. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually pretty decent because Pomni... You're, both of them are, uh... resistant to electric. So, you're actually pretty alright. You're gonna have... You're gonna have Floricato terastalize immediately? Alright. Well, I mean, it it's Terra-type Grass, so it just means the Grass-type moves will get stronger. If the Terastalize Pomni, she's just gonna be Electric-type. Oh my god, the flower is on top of it. That's adorable. <laughs> Shit. Oh! Oh, low, 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 low. Are they level 70 again? They are. Ah, so we shouldn't have been here, is what you're saying. God, what what you, I'm saying is, you. I think this is intended to be a force loss scenario. Because I did try this before, and... Uh, you uh, do continue whether you win or lose. Yes, but I'm sure you get stuff if you win. Most of these are like most of the like battles and that are forced on you in the game, uh, and not just this game. In most of the Pokemon games, like you can go, uh, you can continue whether you win or lose, but you get stuff if you win. Well, let me look at that then.
So, how about them Brooklyn Dodgers? Yeah, no rewards mentioned, so I, it's fine. Okay. I have something that can hit both of them. I don't. Necessary loss. And Even you would have gotten money. A pitiful 248. We can make that back overnight. I'm relieved I could pull out a win. There's a positively what You wiped the floor mm. with us, white hot my ass. So if what you, this is it would have been different you, dialogue. Is you should have been. You should be a level seventy at this point. The students here at Blueberry Academy were only recently issued Terra Orbs, so I hope you'll be able to teach us more about them. Well done, the both of you. Mm, no, no, see, not really. Just... Like I said, you should have been at level seventy to begin with, but whatever. You really battled it out with blueberry style. Speaking of style, I forgot I had a uniform for you. You'll feel the part. You'll feel like you fit right in as soon as you're dressing the part. It suits you beautifully. Now that's what I call fashion. Oh, and you can have this as well. So now we have the teal style card and the indigo style card. Having one of these increases the selection available to you at boutiques and hair salons. That should give you a few more options when you visit shops and salons and such in Paldea. Now that you look the part, and hopefully feel it too, no, nah, not really. Why don't we head into the school? You can pick where you want to go from the gates over there. Come on, I can show you the pride of Blueberry Academy, our world Famous terrarium. It may not be a good idea to continue further down nope. the DLC unless nope. you have a better. Uh, nope. I'd also like to point out how they spelled terrarium. I'm pretty sure that is correct. No. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be uh, two R's. A T E R R A. Oh, it's because it's. It's because of Terra. Yep. For the Terrasco bullshit. Yep. But now that we have this... They also have a tracksuit. Uh-huh. Uh, winter... This looks like the tracksuit, honestly. I was gonna say, that looks more like a tracksuit than the tracksuit. Autumn... Summer... Spring... There's the festival gin. Summer outfit looks like it looks like it's trying to be a fucking sailor boy outfit. But I think failing. that's I think that's the theme they were going for just because it's out here on the open ocean. Because blue, blue. Oh, it's dead. Me. Do 
just a school glove. Not two, just a glove. Uh-huh. Totally. A singular glove. Oh, that looks a lot better. Still have the Kitakami backpack, though. Yeah, I went back to the Kitakami backpack. Just because the color works with this outfit. Now let's head back to Paldea and see what else this unlocks. Just a brief start here. Stylus noticed your Indigo style card and quietly pulled out the special style catalog. Buenas, muchacho. What can we do for you today? I don't... Do they just shorten hello to buenas? Yeah. Buenas. Okay, okay I wasn't sure. That's not something they taught so... us in school. The thing Not about just... where I live specifically is the formal way is to say buenas, buenos dias, buenas noches, blah blah blah. Buenas tardes. Blah, blah. Buenas tardes. Yeah. Depends on the time. So if you don't feel like it, or if you are a, a person who is not formal, as you should be, hmm. you just say buenas. A good grief. So you just say, so instead of saying good morning, good afternoon, or good night, you say good. Yeah, because fuck formality. Oh, I can get a Pokeball fade. Who the fuck would want that? <laughs> probably people. not. Probably not someone like me, but there's definitely people out there who think that's cool, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. Heresy. Rated top. Oh. I kind of got the Viking thing going on there. And two knots. Huh. Okay. Half up bun. Undercut. Oh, there's the partial buzz cut. I vibe with it. It's a bit too long, though. Shoulder length, Bob. That's just Cosmo right there. How oh dare. What? It's cute, I mean, Cosmo. Is is he wrong though? I don't look like that. You're it right, you could. look cuter. You're right, Cosmo, you look cuter. I think she heard you the first time. I wasn't sure because we both spoke at the same time. Glad you understood that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they repeated they repeated it like seven times in the same episode. It's just practically burned into my brain. What is what? Grim Adventures Rackle, of Billy and Randy. I don't remember that particular one. I my brain is not active enough for that apparently. These past the egg tower. salad. Fraggle, fraggle. Ah, somebody help me! Oh. Okay. Anyway. Didn't really see anything that stood out to me 
besides my main haircut. I'm just, I'm only going to do around here in uh, Pleasure Plateau. I'm not actually going to go around to all the shops right now. Welcome to Baggins, your go-to store for quality bags. I actually found something out the other day. Uh, there was a man in Legends Arceus named Baggin, and he was the one who was able to help you expand your uh, bag capacity. Bro. So this is his descendants running this shop. Should I get the white backpack to go with this? I think it looks better. Also, I also check my uh, cash. How did you get so much? I sold all the rare bones I had been hoarding. Uh. This is a no-bone zone. That's why he got rid of all the bones. Ooh, a nylon backpack. He don't got... He don't got bones in his shits. I actually like the look of this one better. Yeah. Not bad. Enamel backpack. Ooh, ooh. That's all right. Note, I forgot to mention a while ago, which would have been good, but uh, I got a dip in a few minutes to go buy dinner. You mean you haven't had dinner yet? No. Uh, well, it's only about nine, nine o'clock your time, I think. It could be eight. Oh, right, because you're not on daylight time. Haha, <laughs> fuck daylight time. I agree, and yet we still have to do it. Yep. Supposedly there was a vote this past year to end the practice of Daylight Savings Time, but it didn't go through. Fuck whoever because voted people no. people are idiots. These are the same people who think we don't need the metric system. Technically, we don't need it. But it would but make life it. so much fucking easier. Exactly. And we can deal with, like, one year of kids not knowing how to do it. Like, teach it, for fuck's sake. It's not that hard. Honestly, yeah. Especially when every single field of science relies on metric measurements. So why do we have to learn two different systems of measurements? Just let Imperial measurements die? Honestly, especially when there are only two other countries besides us who actually use Imperial measurements. Neither of which we ever interact with on any kind of regular basis. But who are we to say that, you know? We're just fucking stupid people, I guess. We're, we're dirty commoners or something. We don't understand, you know, we're not true patriots. We don't understand the value of America and the, you know, the customary imperial measurements that they use. Fur bucket hat. That's different. Graveyard, uh, Griever beanie. That's neat. Not gonna be Borkin. What the fuck is that? Hold on, go back. What? What was that giant ass beanie head? Reverd beanie. The pom pom hat. Oh my god. What the goddamn fuck is that? You look like an actual snow cone. It's supposed to be I'll a do cat. You one, I'll do you fuck one worse. That. 
I'll do you one worse. He looks like he's wearing a condom on his head. <laughs> you can't tell me I'm wrong because I'm not. Dogs are having a fucking moment and a half. Honestly, yeah, they're, they're, they're yapping like crazy. All right, Zap Baldea uh, footwear. Hormit sneakers. I missed the purr and the s and I could have sworn you said Mormon sneakers. Some slip-ons. Ah, running shoes. There we go. Guess that'll be everything for me. Cosmo. Wow. Look at my tights. They match my pants. Beard weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird looking, yeah. Are you <laughs> wearing shorts? Yes. All right. Shorts then. or tights? Hmm. I've, I've actually done that personally. It's kind of uncomfortable, but. Doesn't look bad. Striped tie socks. They're not tights, but what do you think, Cosmo? And uh, not bright enough. Not high enough for my tastes. Mm. I know where we can fix that. See if they got any new caps. Stampede hat. Oh my gosh. They call it a stampede hat. Makes sense. <sighs> Not really, but we'll say sure. flap cap. I might need that later. I'm gonna go get food and also get food for dog. Probably a good idea. I will be back. All right. Sports sunglasses. Okay, those look cool. Those look like my, my sunglasses, honestly. Eh. Hexagonal. They look like motorcycle glasses. Oh my god. That's, uh. Um... No, I'm with the science team. That's a uh, very specific taste there. That's why I made that joke. <laughs> I like the I like the uh, I like half rim glasses personally. That's my thing. Mm -hmm. What about half rim sunglasses? Why must we wear such ridiculous ties? <laughs> Ridiculous ties. Ephraim sunglasses. Thoughts?
No thought. Not a dime. Not bad. No, oh, okay. I'm. They look good, but uh, I someone in another server just shared a meme that actually made me sick to my stomach. I'm sorry. Like... Who... It's rough. What kind of meme nope. is it? Is it a game movie? I... A gaming? No. And I'm not going to share or talk about it on stream. Fair enough. It's that bad. Fair enough. I'm actually going to take these gloves off. Here we go. Much better. Now to get back to Kitakami. I just wanted to do that real quick before we started. So we could get out of that uh, Jinbei. Because I, I unfortunately did not look good in a Jinbei. Or at least in that Jinbei. Olive green is not my color. Call it a night. The next day, what is that strut? <laughs> Good morning, Thunderstorm. Carmine wanted to need to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said, You'd better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. Yep, sounds like her. Yep. Uh, camera, 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 what are you doing? Okay, thank you. Rebelling against the system! The caretaker showed us some really cool masks yesterday. So, I also found out Kitakami is not supposed to be... Uh... South Asia. It What's is. It supposed to be? It's yet another region of Japan, specifically neighboring Hokkaido province. That tells me. I mean, I don't know the regions of Japan, so that doesn't tell me very much, but okay. I think Hokkaido is. Sinnoh? No. Hang on, actually, let me look that up. I don't think it particularly matters too much, to be fair. Yeah, Hokkaido province is uh, sick. Storm, you took your sweet time. I wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. I wanted to fix dear Ogre Pond's mask, but I'll need one more material if I want to do a proper job. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is. But I think it would make Ogre Pond real happy if we fix it up first. Yeah, I bet it would. It's a nice thing to do. Especially now that I've heard the real story. I just want Ogre Pond to be happy, you know? She gets it. She gets it. 
I'm sure Ogre Pond will be pleased to know you care so much for it. Right? Morning, Grandpa. Ah, oh, good morning, Kieran. Kiki, you better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. I excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? I'm glad he's finally becoming independent and not being a pushover anymore. Honestly. What's his problem? He's been all bent out of shape since yesterday. I don't know. He spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something. It happens. Oh my god. And you would know about that. Literally. It would have been hard to get stuff done with Kiki clinging to you, Thunderstorm. Yes, things worked out in your favor. The crystal pool's at the top of Oni Mountain. I'm usually not too keen or on outside of... we could clue him in because Honestly, we're helping... We're doing a thing that he would very much want to be a part of? Honestly, yeah, at this point, since we don't have to worry about him running off on his own, he would just be part of the effort. Exactly, and it would make things go faster? I'm usually not too keen on outsiders heading up the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. What say you and I go for a hike to find ourselves a crystal cluster? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I was doing a little bit of exploring not too far along and I found a place out here that sold syrupy apples. So we got the sweet apple, syrupy apple, and the tart apple. We also have three applins. Is it time for an evolution marathon? Eh, not a marathon. But we're definitely getting some in here. Hey, Divine, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Forgot about you going live. Well, it's okay. Sometimes we, he forgets about him going live, to be fair. Honestly, honestly. our program to bring you this important message. I love you. Now, back to our show. <laughs> thank you, Dark. I mean, thank you, Divine. Dark was here earlier. Where did he go? Might still be here. Just, you know, lurking. lurking as one does. As one does. Time to use the sweet apple on this applin. Appleton! When some Lechonk come along to lick the sweet nectar on Appleton's back, Appleton will spew sticky nectar at them to drive them away. I uh, meant to give that to the other one, but oh well. And then the tart apple for Falapple. 
But thanks, uh, thanks for that, uh, redeem, uh, divine. Applin evolved into Flapple. It uses its own body fluid to repair its apple. Strong Flapple that have won many battles have apples that are clay-colored all over. Learned wing attack. And now... Diplin! The head sticking out belongs to the foreworm, while the tail belongs to the core worm. The two share one apple and help each other out. So wait, there's two of them in there? Uh, apparently. Diplin learned double hit. Interesting. those three out of the way. Actually, I should check the Pokedex to see if that earned me anything. Nope. Oh. Lady O'Neill and Mr. Billy. I, I learned something about them, too. Put their names together and see what that sounds like. Billy O'Neill? Do you hear it? Oh... Yep. Uh... Completely intentional. Oh, look at the ball picks up on the... On, on the uh, uh, I hate them even more now. I didn't think that was possible, but I hate them even more. Look at the vault bricks! Yes, it is very cute lounging in the sun and eeping. How do you pull out the, uh... Hard to change filters. Y button to flip the camera. Change your expression. You can play music while taking photos. I the Pokemon you got the Pokeballs really act for the music too. I'll be right back. Is there a zoom in feature? Turn. 
and I am happy to report that while I was doing the thing I needed to do, I was able to give each of my cats one singular head pat each. <laughs> There's sadly no zoom feature. Well, that's silly. Oh, your ringtone. That's interesting. I just realized something. All of those tracks were from Gen 2. Lovely of you to stop by. Take your time and have a look around. Do I need any of these? 74 Pokeballs? I have that many? Wow. Uh, let's pay with leak points. LP? Is that one of those cryptic currencies? I'm a little too old to keep up with all that. Sorry, dear. <laughs> PG oh, is based. My, my days. Based, she does not accept cryptocurrency. <laughs> oh, Dark just cut the pun too. <laughs> Well, they got the pun earlier, but... Yeah. Yeah. I... can't... I'm sorry, but you can't help but love her for that. Uh... That's one word for it, I guess. Let's see here. That's the crystal pool there. So we have to go around the mountain to, excuse me, to get there. So we'll have to start at Infernal Pass. One of the six wonders of Kitakami. Oh, nothing unrelated to this. I don't think a Geo dude. Lots of goodies. Great ball. Lots of slugma over here. Just combing this area thoroughly. Or as thoroughly as I can manage. At least. A lot of, uh, Mian Fu claws. What are 
all these planks here for? Is it just unsteady ground? So it doesn't look like there's a river running down the mountain. Not on this side anyway. Maybe it's just, yeah, firm steady ground, like you said. A lot of places do that when it's often traveled ground, they will flatten it out or otherwise make it more walkable. Hmm. Stored power. Chilling water head into the crystal pool. It's over here at the water head then. Killing Waterhead, you're almost there. A lot of slugma. Scald. Ooh, that's a new one. If I've here random chandelier era chandelier okay lampant lampant uh, uh, which evolves into chandelier doesn't it yep and it's a grass type why is it a terra type of what that makes no sense for it the, when you find a wild um just went out in the wild like this, it'll have an unusual tarot type. What oh, actually knows grass moves? I was not makes, prepared for this. It makes no sense for it, but okay. Sure. It's level 45, that'll be why. That'll do it. And it would your fire type move is super effective against even though it's normal type is fire. Yeah, because when it's terrestrialized, it takes on its terrestrial type. Uh, that makes sense. Go, Sharkanet! I will be right back in a moment.
go, Pokeball. Great ball. I return. And I Damn. see you have almost apparently caught the lampent, but not. Hmm. Well baked, Bobby. Fire type moves only increase its defense. Oh. Shit. Why are you announcing that like it was a frickin' Yu-Gi-Oh battle in the anime? Oh, oh. I'm being silly. Oh, okay. You might wait out here, my guy. I'm not careful. I didn't even realize I had a couple quick balls right now. Not that it would have helped in this particular case. No, I don't think it would have. Because you're, uh. Shit. You have to underneath the threshold for that. Now might be the time for the uh, tactical withdrawal. Might be. <laughs> One last try. Timer ball. Kind of close there, friend. Really damn close. The spirit that absorbs fuel its baleful fire. It hangs around hospitals wait waiting for people to pass on. Damn. I mean, to be fair, just like me. Ghost, ghost type Pokemon have always been metal as fuck in the, in the Pokemon lore. Just like me. In the Pokedex lore. Yeah. I got 35 revives. I think I can use a few of these. Well, if you're willing to hit the items, that's fine. See the ladder there. Yeah, they just expect you to base jump it. Honestly. No equipment or anything, you'll be fine. Just a yeet. Yeet! I saw this on the map, and that's why I wanted to come explore this first. What is that down there? Excuse all the crunchy noises, by the way. I got food. Crunch. Oh, it's just a rock crap. turn somewhere? I don't see a waterhead. Oh! 
Maybe in the cave. Chilling water here. Yep. That'll be the one. Snow rent, snow rent, snow rent. Sneasel. He's a whirl. Yep. Quick ball, go! It's a very easy way to tell with Sneasel. Yep. The size of the feather. Ah. Ah, Rust. Give him the bats. Ah, oh, damn. I was gonna say, with Omni's lots of those things, you're gonna kill it. <laughs> yeah. She clawed Pomni and Pomni bitch slapped her for it. Uh huh. On pass. Pass as long as any stat changes. Yeah. Oh! So that's why Baton Pass is relevant. Okay. I never yeah, saw the point of it. Like maximize stats, its stats will be thrown thrown along with it. No runs. No run. No run. 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 No run. Oh, and it's a female too. I'm no, pretty sure only the females have all of the defrost lass. Oh yeah. I don't know off the top of my head, but wouldn't surprise me. It is said that a home visited by a snow runt will prosper. It can withstand cold of negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That's an oddly specific measurement. Yes, it's also in the wrong measurement system. There are a lot of swine up in here. Yes, there are. Almost like this place is called Chilling Waterhead and there's a lot of ice types here. Holy shit, it's a Chilling Waterhead. It's him. My goo. Why are you catching another uh, snowman? For Glalie. Repeat ball. Lucky catch. I think I already have a snow run. Or not a snow run. Uh, I think I already have a. Uh... Sorry, noise. Swine up is what I meant. He's so tiny, you almost didn't see him. When did she use Revival Blessing? Wait, what? Uh, back during the Lampant fight. Oh. Must have been when I stepped away. Omni was actually the right matchup for this. Yes. He 
These Pokemon move in schools. They have an electricity generating organ, so they discharge electricity if in danger. Eesh. So where was the school? That's a good question. That's what I was about to ask. Oh, hi, Swina. That, however, is not a good matchup. <laughs> nope. Stop. Ha -ha. Nice jump. Drill run. Where are you going? You didn't catch Sneasel. You fainted it. That's right, I did. Hey, what's this? Nest balls. <laughs> Oni Mountain. From the other way side. Out. No, wait to an HM. Or a TM. Rock slide. Are me and Foos down there? They are. Yeah. There's one there. You already have one now. I do. I'm pretty sure. I do. Oh, okay. yes. Got one in, in a previous stream. Because we kept. Uh, <laughs> We had the debate of whether it was cool. Mien or mine. It's the Goo Boy. The goo goo is Goal, girl. though. Oh, goo Milk. I mean... We're not going to talk about that. No, no. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> We're not going to talk about Cross not being unhinged. Now why did you bring me along? That's my one defining characteristic! <laughs> <laughs> We're teasing Cross huh? This Gumi's fucking teasing. I thought your one defining characteristic was that you were a gremlin. My one defining characteristic uh, differs depending on the situation. That's my one defining characteristic after all. Uh -huh. Damn it. Okay, I'm for a new plan. It's raining inside. Must be torrential outside if it's raining in the cave. Nah, just spawned clouds right over you, guys. It's that cold. Not cold, humid. Just end. Yep. Did he just wait out the rain? Yep. Real time. Okay then. It's interesting that they make uh, that real time effect too. Very as interesting. To turn -based. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. 
Get in the ball! Get in the fucking ball! Get in the ball, Shinji! She really doesn't wanna. No, she really doesn't wanna. Must have heard Cosmo talking shit. Get in the fucking ball. She really doesn't give a shit about the Pokeball. Nope. Might need to send it to sleep or something. Let's try a Dusk Ball. We're in a cave. There we go. There it goes. Gracious. Gumi's horns are excellent sensory organs that cover all five of Gumi's senses. Gumi picks up on danger from the movement of the air. Okay, then. That's one way to put it. Honestly, I think I got enough Dragon-type Pokémon, I could easily make a full Dragon Team if I wanted to. Hey, Dunsparce, what are you doing here? You're no Dragon-type. Or Ice-type. What is it? Oof. I'm sorry, Pomni. Dark Spun! All oh, right, normal type. Fun. I honestly forgot about that. I don't like the way it's lying on its back. It's butt. It's tail? It's butt. What? Oh, oh, Doc Spun. I thought you were talking about Dunsparce. No. found out that Great Balls and Ultra Balls are called Super Balls and Hyper Balls in uh, Japanese. Which would explain why the Ultra Ball has not a U but an H on it. It also explains why the discrepancy between Potion, Super Potion, Hyper Potion and Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball. Yep. And apparently, and I, someone had to point this out to me. You can tell the Great Ball is a Super Ball because it looks like... Imagine how Superman's cape just kind of comes over his shoulders and is attached to the front of the shoulder. And that's what the Great Ball looks like. Huh. Lucky catch. Going crazy with those lucky catches. If spotted, it escapes by burrowing with its tail. It can float just slightly using its wings. So you, what did you get for dinner? Taco. Taco. I mean, I actually did get Taco Bell, but... <laughs> I had a weird craving, and I had barbecue for dinner. <laughs> Which is 
not something that happens often for me. So you are just, just completely surrounded, huh? Yeah, they're, they're all just staring at me. The trifecta. <clears throat> and when I ordered the barbecue, <laughs> they know how to sell. I will sell you that because you know what they had as their thumbnail? What? Freaking banana pudding with vanilla wafers in it. Mm. And I had to, I, I had to have some at that point. Oh, there's the school. Oh. This one's a male. Well How rude. He very rude. Oof. Oh, nice. I think that'll do. Sneasel. This is a smart and sneaky Pokemon. A pair may work together to steal eggs by having one lure the parents away. Okay then. Let me just fix something here. Uh-huh. I thought so. Cursed be these frettle bones. So, rather than continuing further down, uh, since there's no quick way back up, I'm just gonna go back up. I don't think I saw Makes this sense. one over here. Let's drop. It really made this cave look very moist. You say something, Cosmo? Moist. Oh boy, here she goes. Don't mind me. Just looking at a stupid. <laughs> also, can I just say? They point out that there's a ladder, but they don't bother putting up guardrails. Snake it up! There we go. <laughs> like, there is next to nothing indicating that the ladder is here if you didn't have a third person camera. It's the funny man spot. <laughs> Encore. Yep, we 
we go. Crystal pool, Pony Mountain Summit. Well, I can see from here why they call it the Crystal Pool. Limit Crystal. Look at that. Resist feather. Oops. Were scattered all around your team. Ah, come on. Oh, that hit pretty hard. Oh, come on. A second. Hmm. On a random note, because brain, Treyarch is handling the next card game. Okay. Limit's toxic mineral crystals look just like flower petals. This Pokemon scatters poisonous powder like pollen to protect itself. Rock and poison type. I forget, do you like or hate Treyarch? Oh, I love Treyarch. The last good COD game that all three of us played was Cold War. Oh. Back before all the news came out. Yeah. Player Blitz. Is that thing? <clears throat> Must be the evolved form. Colonel, I want a new chair. Wait, it's. 
Terrestrializing? Into a grass type. Grass. Glimora. anyone who's a good match against this. Signature move or something? Oh shoot. Hot shot. Did I even bother with this, honestly? That's a question only you can answer, my friend. Ooh. That did some numbers. But it was a crit. That's a good idea. Okay. Oh, damn. Well, then. Yeah, we're just out of here. Honestly, at this point. It gave no indication it was going to terrestrialize. It's not even glowing like other wild terrestrial Pokemon you'll find. That might be a quirk of the crystal pool, is that maybe uh, a lot of the Pokemon here will terrestrialize just randomly. Hmm. Maybe. Or maybe that's a quirk of the Pokemon itself. Maybe. It could be its ability or something. Granted, having a Pokemon whose ability hinges on the current generation's gimmick is kind of shitty. It is. There's a lot of Terra Shards. Maybe that is the whole deal here. Like a little tiny cave. Oh, uh, let's maybe not. Because as far as I'm aware, they don't give me a place to fly back up here, which is stupid. Kind of should. Moonstone. 
There you are. Come on, get a load of this view. This is the crystal pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? Crystals I mean, here are... It's with a name like that, kind of. Yeah. Crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? It's even a weird rumor that you can meet people here who have passed away. Now, we'll just need to get a little bit of the crystal from the bottom of the pool so we can fix the mask properly. And that's where you come in, Thunderstorm. Go on then, jump in. Don't be scared. Why do we have to do it? You want me to jump in? Well, yeah, I can't swim. And besides, my clothes would get soaked if I did it. Got a real nifty Pokemon to ride on, right? You'll be fine. What in the... An earthquake? Milotic. A guardian, I see. This one looks strong. You're awfully lucky that I'm around. Uh, says the girl who we've beaten how many times by this point? Angie, I can't catch it. Just get grass. What do you mean, why can't you catch it? It's sweet. Is it not Come giving on, me the let's option? Finish this. Maybe I can try. I just don't see the icon. Oh, oh no. Angry mode. Uh, can you not toss a Pokeball? Nope. Nope. Mayhaps if you beat it, you're the one to get the kill. Well, you don't oh. know until afterwards. Maybe it's like one of the giant Pokemon from the actual main story. Maybe you I'm have to me. find it again after you've beaten it. Was Sheesh. it actually big? I don't think so. Eesh, that surprised yeah. me. Now that I think about it, Pokemon like that one do show up here from time to time. You know, you're pretty handy to have around in a battle, aren't you? Stop being nice to us. This is weird. You're also still a bitch. The ghosts. Hey, is that? Crystal <laughs> oh, Buster. fuck yeah, meth. <laughs> it's blue. That's what it's got to be, right? Uh, I was going to say. Breaking Bad taught us anything. A cluster of the crystals found within the crystal pool. They sparkle brilliantly and are apparently necessary to repair a certain mask. Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought? The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it! <clears throat> Miss Briar! Hi there, Carmine. And Sunderstorm, too. I thought you were paired with Ew. other students. Did you decide to switch things up? Uh... I'm sorry, Miss Briar, but this place is actually pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering around up here. I'm aware that this is sacred ground, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? I gave him loads of money. Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. And well... My hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pool's waters emit energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. Though, I have no idea why that is. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in regions other than Paldea. That'd uh, actually be kind of neat, I but see. unfortunately that's not They already did it at Blueberry, though. Did We just saw it. Well, they mentioned it. Well, um, 
we've got somewhere to be, so let's head back, Thunderstorm. You're gonna be okay up here by yourself? I can just get the Terrastal phenomenon to reliably occur in regions other than Paldea. That should bring me one step closer to Terrapagos. Terrapagos, oh god! You forgot about that, didn't you? Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Oh Why? god, I hate it. It's meant to be Galapagos, but it's not creative. Long ago, the crystal pool was infused with crystalline material from an unknown source. Its water has a faint glow, but it's safe to drink, and even serves as the village's water source. Gale said that gazing upon the glowing water can allow you to meet those who have passed on. Can people terrestrialize? Good question. If you ascribe to the theory that people are Pokemon, then yes. Then yes. <laughs> Is a mimic you around here? says there's a mimic you around here somewhere. Where would a mimic you hide? Under a cloth. I mean, yeah. Kind of their thing, huh? Yep. <sighs> well, I can't seem to find it. I better be careful, though. We're starting to reach the point where the Pokemon are getting stronger than me. Cosmo missed the thing. Hmm. Which thing? Uh, about peachy and cryptic currencies. Oh. oh boy. Glad I missed out then. <laughs> I tried to pay with League points, and she said, Is that one of those cryptic currencies? I'm sorry, dear. I'm much too old to keep up with these things. Well, good for her for not buying into it, at least. Honestly, yeah, based. <laughs> On what? I'll see my cell phone. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, we got the crystal cluster you needed. Thunderstorm, Carbine. I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he... He died. He ran off with the he mask. Actually... Okay. <laughs> what? Why would Kiki do that? Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I haven't said a word. Right, I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't just go blabbing to him like that. Kieran seemed to be headed to Loyalty Plaza with the mask. I think it would be best for you two to go after him. Oh, yeah. But, like, why, though? Just do it. No balls. 
No, but like, why is he going where would have wherever Loyalty Plaza is? Because he's Please mad. continue. We we've already seen this joke. It's, it's you've seen it. Cosmo hasn't seen it. I don't. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not watching the stream all that much, but I. Ah. Uh, I found out a thing if you put Onair and Billy's names together. You know, the rich bitches. Mm hmm. What happens? Billy <laughs> Onair. There's a joke, guy. I'm unfortunately missing out on it. Say the names fast. Billionaire, billionaire. I think about what you just said. Don't ask me to think. I am stupid. Billionaire. Billionaire. Fuck me, dude. Look <laughs> at these things. <laughs> what are these things? Let me throw a ball at it. Toad school. So I take it this is something that evolved to look like toad, uh, like a tentacle, another form of convergent evolution. Probably. God, I love convergent evolution. So dumb in the best ways. Hey, it worked. So what you're saying is shoutouts of convergent evolution gotta be one of my favorite forms of uh, life. Evolution, yeah. Yeah. Wood ear Pokemon. I guess that's whatever mushroom it's based on. Probably. Though it looks like Tentacool, Toad School is a completely different species. Its legs may be thin, but it can run at a speed of 30 miles per hour. Round and grass. -type. Terrifying. Terrifying. That thing can run up to 30 miles an hour? Yes, that's absolutely fucking terrifying. This loyalty plaza. I guess not. No, that's just Kitakami Hall. That's loyalty plaza. Okay. Okay, Kieran. Thunderstorm. Kiki, what in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The loyal three were the real bad guys. But the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast. You. You knew. And you two did the same thing to me. No. You treated me like an outcast when you went and met with the ogre. I, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... You're no well, different than those villagers back oh. then. You are completely misunderstanding the situation, Kieran. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like you didn't know anything, and you were laughing at me behind my back all along. Completely misunderstanding the situation, Karen. 
That's not what happened at all. Liar. You're a liar. What's gotten into you, Kiki? You're acting really off today. Thunderstorm, battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. Are you sure? I, I need this battle. Get to your position. Sounds I'm pretty not good. Gonna hold anything, I'm not gonna hold anything back, you hear me? Okay, dude. <laughs> I know this isn't right, but I can't just hand over the mask to you. Dude. You could at least ask us to explain what actually happened instead of fucking assuming that we we're just laughing behind your back. Honestly. It's kind of cringe, my guy. Don't be the We've been nice to you this whole time. Well, we, you've been. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carmine is... We are not affiliated with Carmine. She forced herself to be... She forced us to affiliate with her. Yeah. It was under duress. We are not responsible. Guess what? Holy shit. What Don't mind doing? me, I just hit a fucking clip. What? I just hit a fucking clip, god, I hope you figure out how to record that. Yeah, I did it. I hope that was enough. Don't be me. Uh, <laughs> I'm having are a you, moment. Are you, playing, are you playing more Endwalker? No. I'm playing the Sin of All Games. Oh. I'm playing the Sin of All Games Call of Duty, and I just hit Fucking dang that's, that's not the sin of all games. That's not League of Legends. You're right, hey, but hey, I do listen. play that game too. League of Legends serves a good purpose. It keeps all of the League players from moving out into the rest of the world. True. Super sweet syrup. Okay, that's a phrase, and I like that. Super sweet syrup. Sugar honey iced tea. <laughs> I'm having a hard time deciding whether or not those sounds I'm hearing are coming from your stream or from the game I'm playing. Which is weird, because this is fucking Call of Duty and you're playing Pokemon. I heard... <laughs> I don't know what you're fighting right now at the moment, but I heard it cry and I fucking whipped around. <laughs> fucking Pikachu was gonna throw a shock stick at me or something. I just noticed you can kind of see a little bit of uh, scale detail there on the back of uh, Crocolore's. Uh, right there on the back of Crocolore, right there near the base of the tail. Yeah, it's nice. Procolor is nice to look at. Eh, uh, Tommy can't afford to learn Thunderwave right now. Cramorant? No, oh, that's a Pokemon I haven't heard of in years. Not years. A while. A hot minute. A hot minute and a half. Oh, they will put it to sleep. Put it in its place. Hollyworld.
Why? Why can't I be as good as you? You can. Because you're, just, you're holding you're yourself good. back. Honestly. I'm a man. Ugh. I'm a man. Ow. Yeah, that's what you get for punching stone. Iki, are you all right? Here, I promised. Say hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki, I should apologize for... I'm going home. Ah, uh, well, there goes my streak. <laughs> oh, man, he sounds depressed. I'm sorry about all that. He's normally not like this at all. Do you think most people act up like that around Kieran's age? Do not understand at all what he's... What he thinks is happening here, Carmine. Right. I should never let teenage angst get to my head like that. I don't know what to do with him. Sure, you never let teenage angst get to your head. It's definitely not what you go with every single day of your fucking life. Honestly. Hey, can you hear something? Coming from the Loyal Three Monument? Oh good, they're coming back to life. What? What's going on? Yep. It's the goon squad. The Haw Squad? Oh shit, they're back! Yep. Yep. God, they look gross. They really yep. do. Honestly, Fez and Divity is the only one that looks like a Pokemon to me. And just barely. Huh? What in the world? What, what what do you want? They want the mask because they're greedy. What are they doing? Seriously, what is going on? Well, the village is going to see what they're actually like. But they're going to blame themselves. What was that all about? They're going to be like, oh, we must have angered them. Hey, you're right. There were three of them, and they all looked sinister. That's got to be them. The story said they were laid to rest under the statues, right? Brought them back to life. Wait, they ran off toward Kitakami Hall. That can't be good. Let's go after him. Go on, Thunderstorm. It's 9.30. That's why. Yes, it is. Which means it's even later for you fellas. It yes, is, it but is. we also started later.
Uh, this is not going to end well. I don't want to eat mochi, but they're so good. I mean, to be fair, they are really good, but sometimes you're just really not in the mood for them. I've never had them before. It's weird, but it's really good. Charge. I don't think he got the card key for that. Nope. And obviously a child doesn't have the upper body strength necessary to climb that kind of ladder. Definitely. Apparently not. Nope. Not at all. Because you're definitely a child, right? Because you're the size yep. of a child. So, I know this stream's still going on, but Jason, <laughs> remember when I said I hit a clip? Uh-huh. Would you mind going and watch the clip? Maybe when the stream's done. Alright, I'll tag both of you just in case. Okay. This thunderstorm. Only you'd been here a few minutes earlier. Hey, did those Aussie three Pokemon come here? I believe you mean the loyal three, Carmine. Forget about that silly title. Always with your attitude. <laughs> oh man. But yes, you did miss out on an incredible treat. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. It seems they wish to collect the shining mask we've kept safe here at Kitakami Hall. So naturally, we representatives of the hall were happy to return the masks to them with all haste. You gave them the masks? Oh and we, no! And we offered them a platter of our special Kitakami mochi, packed full of our best oh. herbs. Okay, oh, so be first off, I, I want to say I wish I had you as a grandpa. Not tossing any shade to my grandpa, but like, man. I wish someone would just give me food like that out of nowhere, just for like, eh. But also, oh god, fuck, he fucked up, he fucked up. To be Very fair, so. he thinks of them as gods, so... Well, not gods, just heroes. Dead heroes. So, gods. And, and you fed them? Hitakami Mochi are full of nutrition. Oh, All three are no. bigger and stronger now, I'm sure. Aren't they ghosts? But those lousy three are the bad guys! The masks belong to Ogre Pond! <sighs> Only I could tell them everything. So where did those three go? They went at once to ascend Oni Mountain. Perhaps they have it in mind to finish off the terrible ogre that lurks in the dreaded den. No wonder they were dubbed the Loyal Three. Such hard-working heroes they are. <laughs> They have no idea. They really don't. This isn't time to be laughing at all. The story we heard is true. Then we, those three must have gone to get revenge on Ogre Pond. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, he's just far away. I thought that was a tiny child in the Chime Echo. They say the Ogre Pond using the powers of its masks. But Ogre Pond doesn't have any masks right now, right? It won't stand a chance. We should help it. Yeah, we're on the same page. But we should split up. You head to the shredded den and help Ogre Pond. I'll go back home and get the mask fixed up. Give me the mask and the crystal. Thanks. 
I'll head your way the moment the mask's fixed. Until then, make sure Ogre Pond's safe. You're saying all this right in front of them, by the way. We don't care. We do not care. We do not care. To be fair, they, they're, they're dummies, so they know nothing. Correct. Honestly. Yeah, it's enough coffee today. How are you eating that with a mask, you rotten little rat child? God damn. Honestly. Very carefully. And not carefully at all. <laughs> Mother will buy me a new one next year. <laughs> next year, next hour, more like. I go through these masks like a piñata. So you beat the ever-living crap out of them and hope that the reward falls? Yes. Ooh, yes. And by reward, I mean all the delicious slurpy uh, thing that I've mushed into the mouth part. Eventually, the cardboard and paper will fade and will fall into my mouth. And then you'll die of lead poisoning. Oh, yes. Tis how father went out. <laughs> it's terrible. Lead is terrible. Honestly. Can we get off this ride now? You think if we collect enough Geodude fragments, we could make our own Geodude? Just like Good a whole question. new one. But would it be the same Geodude? No, it'd be a... Because obviously we can't get the same chunks out of the same Geodude. We're getting them from a whole bunch of different ones. It'll be a whole new one. But will it still be a Geodude? That's up for the philosophers. Cosmo Ugh. was the doctor, but Cosmo was the monster all along. Oh, hey, shit, yeah, there, there's the Geodude we made. Yeah. <laughs> it's shiny and glowing from all the, uh, from all the glitter glue we used to smush it all together. Yep. Mm hmm I really don't like the designs, what the fuck? Honestly, yeah. Ogre fine. Ogre Pond's out there on the spectrum of what feels like a Pokemon design, but it's still on the spectrum. What the fuck is this thing? Monkey Dory. Goddamn Yo-Kai watch looking ass motherfucker. Honestly. Oh, you're only level 30? Map him, Pomni. Oh. I thought by its appearance it had to be a dark type, but apparently I was wrong. I mean, if a Cinderor tells us anything, the one that has to be a dark type is the green one. Aren't they all ghost types? Mexic chain. strategy. 
Let's see. If fire, fighting type was weak, or was weak against it, what types does that make? Dark type? Possibly dark steel. Type. No, dark type uh, would be strong. Dark type would be strong against it. No. Or rather, would have fighting type be strong against it? Oh, wasn't it strong against it? No. No, fighting type move was weak against the oh, opponent. Okay. Thank you. Maybe uh, it's psychic let's... type. Because ghost fighting type doesn't even affect ghost. It's either psychic know. type or something like steel type. No, because steel is weak against fighting. No, rock is weak against fighting. Steel is strong against fighting. No, it's not. I'll pull up the type chart. It's psychic. Yep. Yep. Probably. And Doc's gun is gone. Yep. And before it's just poison dice. Dark type wouldn't have been good against it then. Although I wouldn't doubt that poison is playing some part in this. Yeah, no, it's gotta be psychic. I guess you might want to heal first. He can take it. He took Barely. it. Barely. I doubt you could have captured it, but... God, Florgato is just so fucking cool. I didn't even think about that, honestly. Nah, it's not a dark guys. type yet, so... Well, why why you turn? It would have been useful. You can relearn it. Alright. Alright, quick, Kyori, heal my Pokemon like you do before every battle. Honestly. Just in between the battles. Knock it off, all of you! They were trying to go three against one on you, huh? I guess a fair fight's too much to expect. But now that we're here, we'll make you regret ever coming back to life. Uh, they ran away! Now you can go catch them. I guess I'm just too much for them to handle. No, they're gonna try and turn the village against us. Thunderstorm. I, uh... Go on. Say it properly. Uh, about the, uh, about the mask. I just got so angry and... What I did was real dumb. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. <laughs> Thanks, Thunderstorm. He was sulking around, so I grabbed him by the collar and dragged him here. And, well, I'm glad I did. Murder swung. <laughs> Fun button! Really, you. The real life ogre. Bowser's. You're really something. You wanted to be the one to give the mask back to Ogre Pond, right, Kiki? This is. you, dear ogre. Yeah. You're. Seems scared. Maybe it's not good with new people, Kiki. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. 
You should be the one to do it, Thunderstorm. seems happy. Seems pretty comfortable around you, Thunderstorm. Aw, poor Kieran. It'd be nice if we could give the other three masks back to Ogre Pond too, don't you think? Did those, those three Pokemon take the masks that were in Kitakami Hall? Yeah. Never mind, never mind that the masks rightfully belong to poor Ogre Pond here. I wouldn't put it past the so-called Loyal Three to put to plot a second ambush either. We need to keep Ogre Pond safe while we deal with them. That means the three of us are going to form a team. The Mask Retrieval Squad. Count me in. Good idea, isn't it? And you get to be my second in command. I can come too? Of course you can. I know that that's settled. Let's go gather intel about those loyal three in Masui. We're gonna get those masks back. We can do this! Ogrepan will now follow you around. We get the boy! Woo! Oh, is he like... We didn't actually get him yet? He's just following us around? No, he's just following us around for now. Sue, TM. Exactly. We're swimming. But the little bean is around with us now. He's hanging out. We'll go a little oh. faster. Let him run next to you. Come on. He does. He has two speeds. <laughs> Developers, please, please, just give us Pokemon that follow you again. I mean, that's what they did with uh, this generation of game. They did, yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. Kinda. I mean, he is following you. And the auto battle thing does have him kind of follow you, but. Well, I mean, they don't automatically battle. You have to command them to battle. Oh, okay. I love his little walk. It's so adorable. <laughs> it, it literally looks like a child skipping around in glee. Honestly, it does, yeah. Shanks? No. Wait, wait. Oh, there, there you are. It was a... yeah. oh, Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a Hattini. Okay. Or Hattina? However you say that particular Mon's name. I know Hatena and Hatterene are the lighter two ones. I don't remember what the first one is.
I still stand by what I said the first time we saw it. I just want to give him a hug. Honestly. Little bean. Pretty much. Like, when you look at him, when he's going towards you, he looks like he's going in for, like, a big hug. And I'm just like, I want to scoop him up in my arms. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> to ambush me. <laughs> Going in for the glomp. Exactly. Spinner act for it. There you are. There he is. Oh, he doesn't want to go into the town. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he'll meet me wherever civilization isn't. Yeah. Is that a sticker? What the fuck? Oh, right! Jesus Christ! What is up with what? you, Cosmo? <laughs> I am going insane! We've noticed. I mean, how's that any different? The fact that it's being broadcast live to a live studio audience. There's Ogre Pond. He's back. Are those Stantlers? Yes. Yes. Why are they so tiny? Because they're, they're far, far away. away. Okay, get closer, please. It's under the sauce. No, that's tiny as fuck. Why are they so small? Because I'm on top of a Pokemon. Okay, they're kind of bigger now, but I still expected them to be marginally larger. <laughs> I think <laughs> you're thinking of weird deer. No, I'm just thinking of deer, period. Stantler are not that big. They're big, I've, but not that big. I've come to notice. I was thinking like fucking caribou or elk or some shit. Like the huge ass motherfuckers. Not deer. They're roughly oh. deer size. Is it that was... crabby? Oh, pics! Oh. Little cutie. Do we have one of those or no? We do. Okay. Actually. Oh, we have a Ninetales, yeah. Dash Bun's still fucking dead. <laughs> so regal. No! Why? Wait! Why? He was running in circles around you! He was just frolicking surrounding you, just having fun while he was waiting for you to go somewhere. Meanwhile, Dash Bun is still fucking dead. We know. Dox Bun, yeah. We're watching you over Pond. Now, do it. Oh! Yeah. What's he doing? What's he doing? He nap. Oh! <laughs> Man, get your cute ass up. You ain't Mario. Nighty night. Ah, spaghetti. Ah, ravioli. No, Mom. I wasn't playing my DS after bedtime, I swear. Bing. Bye bye. Shut up. Oh. oh. Ah. Very good, old Pawn. Very good. <laughs> Just scream at us. Jesus Christ, it's little dance. There it goes! Yep, there it is! There it goes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
when the introvert finally gets comfortable around their extrovert friend that adopted them. <laughs> Actually, though. Hey, look, it's Jason. Oh, it's Jason. Yes, just oh. <laughs> Jason. You scream at your friends often, Jason. Just randomly scream at them to get their attention. Scream? No. Do something a little random sometimes. I mean. How dare you? How dare you steal my one defining characteristic? <laughs> my. My brain is too occupied with the adorable to formulate any kind of response right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just- I'm not going to engage. I'm too happy. I just noticed the design detail. Look at him from the front, please. I think the brim of his hood is meant to imply a spiked shackle or collar. Possibly. Or like, a helmet. Like an Oni helmet. Perhaps. I don't know what Oni helmets look like. I don't either, actually. I know what an Oni mask looks like. The mask with the helmet is... together. You... Like, the helmet is the rest of the head for the mask. And it makes it even more intimidating looking. Are you talking about, like, on a samurai? Yes. Ain't that just a samurai helmet? No. There are specific ones that make them look like Onis. Fair enough. I was half expecting to see that village on fire. It's the same here, to be honest. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's wrong, Ogre Pond? They're gonna shun it. Doesn't want to go. No mask. I bet it doesn't want to go into the village. The villagers did a pretty Are good those? job of chasing it away back then, so. Yeah, you're leaves? right. Okay, well, maybe Ogre Pond can wait for us here. We can go gather information while what while, while it waits. Do, do you think it'll be okay? Pay attention now, Ogre Pond. We go in village. You stay here. Ogre Pond, stay. Do you understand? Huh? I'm gonna take that as a no. Be good and stay out of trouble, alright? Looks like it understood that. <laughs> what was wrong with what I said? Uh, you were you're, treating you're it You're the like, one who said it. You were treating it like you're it was it, dumb? And you were treating it like a, like Pokemon can't understand human speech perfectly fine. Yeah. Because it's been very well shown throughout all of the various Pokemon media that Pokemon are more than capable of understanding human speech. It's communicating, speaking it, that is not within their wheelhouse. Well, except for like the, the few exceptions in the anime or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I say few as if there's not a shit ton now because every fucking movie has to have one. Yep. What? Crossovers? Science? Telepathic Speaking Pokemon. Pokemon. Not just telepathic, ones that can speak. Just period. Yeah. Honestly, I'd like to see an, I'd like to see more cases where Pokemon are self-taught to speak like Meowth was. Yeah, why don't we get that anymore? Yeah. Because the because Meowth was the only one, it's what makes him unique. It's kind of the only thing that makes him unique. Hey, don't you go dissing my boy Meowth. I'm, I'm not, not dissing him, it's just... Uh, making more Pokemon speak, in their opinion, would take away his one defining character trait. Damn. 
Good thing I have more than one defining character trait. That's like my one defining character trait. I still don't know if in the anime they say their names because they named them after that or the opposite. No. I Fair think point. it's the opposite. Because to be fair, not all of the Pokemon, at least not in the dub, say their name. Because they say their Japanese name, not their English name. Some of them, anyway. Like, honestly. Hey, man. Hey, man, that's a sick looking Pokemon. I've never seen it before. What's it called? Oh, this? Uh huh. This is just my partner Pokemon. His name's Kasha! And this one over here, Career! And this one is Bang Bang. I mean, to be fair, like, the earliest example I can give is Onyx. Because Onyx does not cry Onyx in any of the anime. I think it, it does during the Iwark. match. I think it does just one time, and that's during the second fight with Brock. I don't think hey, so. Hey, man. Hey, man. Because welcome back. In every from other in every other iteration of it, in every episode that I have seen. It tries Iwark, which is its Japanese name. Including Super Smash Iwark. Brothers. Hey man, welcome back from your vacation from Alola. How'd it go? Aw oh man, it was so weird. These weird rifts opened up. Some kid threw a whack-ass Pokeball at me and told me to toss it this big motherfucker. And I caught it. Really? Holy shit. A Pokeball from another <laughs> dimension? What's it called? Oh, this is my friend called... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over that. How fucking. Oh my god. James's Japanese voice actor did not have to go that hard for it, and he did. Was it him? Yes! Was it him doing the Gus Lord? Yes, it was the Japanese actor for James, just God. fucking belting out a scream. I was about to say something stupid, but now I gotta go double check my sources before I name drop someone and get it completely wrong. <laughs> All right. That's literally he just he literally you can you, if you listen to Gus Lord's screams, you can hear it if you think if you like if you think about it. It's not like Guzzlord is, to, like, screaming. Japanese James. Yeah. If you listen to Guzzlord, and then you listen to the Japanese voices for James, you can hear it. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on going up and just talking to people, even if we're all from the same village. Good thing I decided to double check myself before saying anything, because I almost said, man, Je Jesse's Japanese voice actor is the new Mel Gibson. I'm What I was actually looking for was Mel Blanks. And ah. also, not Jesse, but James. Jesse. James. Jesse's the, Jesse's the yes, girl. That's the name! Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Well, hold on, did I just stumble upon a new idiom? What? I just said Jeremiah for the hell of it. You're telling me there's an actual saying related to Jeremiah? And Paul Jeremiah bullfrog? was a bullfrog, was a good friend of mine. Go on. I refuse to believe that's all. It's a song, have you not heard it? Joy to the world no. of all of the boys and girls. No? Curse you, English lexicon. Help I've heard it, but it, it's an older song. It's a very old song. It's like from, I don't know, the 60s or 70s. I thought someone had collapsed, so I went to check on them. But it was just Monkey Dory taking a nap. Can be so peaceful around that pond out there. An ideal place for a snooze.
monkey. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, Dovestone, how you Hello doing today? There, Welcome. Hope you're doing well today. You're in for a ride. I'm off we've my been, meds. We've been Stockholm syndromed onto here, so. Have you seen Okie Dogi of the Loyal Three? That purple scarf it wears is so lovely. I saw it wandering around in the Barrens. I'm questioning if it was a gift sub, but also not following. Huh? Good. That's Good. weird. That is weird. That is very weird. Maybe you were in the chat at one point when Sunder decided to gift subs for randomness. Maybe. No, because that's their first time chat. Huh. By the way, welcome to the welcome I didn't to the show. I didn't know Twitch did that. I thought it only did random gifting to followers. In before everyone who's following. No, follow it does. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's people within your chat. Unless someone else gifted you a sub to Thunderstorm, I guess is what happened. But e either way, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Not complaining, it seems nice here and I love Pokemon. Well, good. Well, you're we'll in for an interesting ride because we love Pokemon too. And some parts of this game are amazing and other parts make us cry. <laughs> Specifically, the puns make them cry, but I love them. Oh, I love puns. I just fucking hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we also he... just say that woman really, really is going through life with some rose tinted glasses as she thinks that quote unquote scarf around Okie Dogie's neck is lovely. Yeah. That shit ugly as fuck. <laughs> I saw Fezendipity zoom through the sky over Oni Mountain. It was so much cooler than the stories say. Got a clue where all three of them. Do they not? Do they not think to question at all why they came back to life? Honestly. How they came back to life? Because they were dead and buried yeah has no one oh. gone to check the monument that they destroyed honestly no nah, the pokemon come back to life all the time they do that yeah no they fucking don't that's not Every a thing everyone knows pokemon don't die except everyone knows that pokemon definitely die because there's entire freaking mass gravestones for them like Lavender Tower. No, uh, that's not that friendly. That is a friendly. real, that's a real canon location in the world of Pokemon, so and, it kind of has to be real. And then Gen Two, they moved all the gravestones and turned it into a radio tower. Yeah, which is stupid and horrible. Hey, was, we well, gotta, they, moved, they we didn't. Gotta... They didn't just like tear them down. They moved them. That's still kind of disrespectful. If Lavender Tower is meant to be a grave site, why are you digging up all the graves and moving them out to make it a radio tower? What's I got for Because we gotta. We're playing the spooky tunes. <laughs> and it's only spooky if you hear the dead Pokemon in the voice track when you, you play the audio but rewind it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why? Is that why listening to the Lavender Town theme drives you insane? Got it. Well, supposedly it was that specifically only in the Japanese version there were high high pitch frequencies that were nigh undetectable to adults, but children were had sensitive enough ears to hear them. I don't remember if that's been debunked or not. I, th I feel like it but has. But it's also been a long 
it's been a long time. I can take it or leave it. It's like the oldest of creepy pastas out there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I can what take it or leave it as fact. Pitch do or was it supposed uh, to do? From what I understand, headaches, uh, hallucinations, uh, yeah. depression, thoughts of suicide, attempts at suicide. Well, and in some I don't cases, just triggered... outright dead. I don't think it would have triggered. Okay, that last one has me think. Yeah, no, that's just some creepy pasta uh, facade. But yeah, Dark Shadow is right. Pitch can give you headaches, high pitches especially. Eh. Like, uh, the funny thing yeah. is that when when presented with the weirdness, the human body can react incredibly dramatically. Yeah. For example, yeah. given blood that isn't of your blood type during a transfusion, probably not the best for your overall health, but more importantly, it shouldn't kill you. It does, however, force your body to give you a sense of lingering dread. Ugh. What? Yeah, just a sense of impending Mm-mm. doom. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think that's more yeah, to sorry. do with your... the fact that you needed it in the first place. No, it, it's something that specifically happens with blood transfusions that don't match up properly. Mm-mm. But either way, I'm gonna stop talking about this because Jason doesn't like. It. In fact, I'm gonna go grab a candy. Anyways, look at uh, look at Ogre Pond dance. Look at him dance. Look at those dama- Damascan patterns. <laughs> All right, let's combine the info we've gathered. You go first, Kiki. Okay, well, here's what I heard. Of course, we fade the black. Hmm, I see. Interesting. Thanks to the information you two brought, I think we know exactly where each of those lousy three is hiding. What did you learn, Carmine? Look, I'm the leader here. Mundane work like gathering info just doesn't suit me. Besides, I tried talking to a few people here and there, but they got all nervous and stuff. I'm just too pretty for my own good. Yeah, that's what it. That's just see that. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be it. Mm-hmm, for sure. <laughs> Did you just see her just sneak in that scowl at the last second? Well, I'll go eep now. Good night. Good night, dark. We're gonna be ending here pretty soon, I think. Yes, please. Oh, you it should say that. It's now 10 p.m. It is, it is 10 p.m. 12 a.m. Did for you not realize? I did not. When you got a story that's this compelling, <laughs> honestly, it actually did it get. Kind of... Yeah, it actually did get yeah. compelling. It took a <laughs> while. <laughs> it was a slow burn. I still no, no, no. hate you, know, you, Carmine. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, Cosmo, you know what it took, right? Ogre Pond. Yeah, it took us knowing exactly how adorable Ogre Pond is. <laughs> Do it for them. It's the only reason we're making it through the slog. I gotta be real with you. <laughs> Give us the Ogre Pond. Give us the Ogre Pond and nobody gets hurt. Exactly. I'll record everything we found out about those three to your Rotom phone. That way we won't forget any of it. You not have your you have your own fucking Proton phone. Why don't we just have a group chat? I thought she said she didn't and have then. a phone. Why are they so far away? What the fuck? The whereabouts of Okie Dogie, Monkey Dory, and Fizzendipity have been added to your map. Now then, let's go retrieve those masks. We can do this. I'm I'm not going. Kieran, you goddamn motherfucker. What happened to that character growth? Fuck you. What? You're part of the team. You need to come along. As long as Thunderstorm's around, I'm sure Ogre Pond will feel safe. Oh, you little rat bastard. Besides, I got things to do. Like what? You you goddamn dramatic little bitch. You realize that 
going away is only going to make it harder for Ogre Pond to care about you, right? Yeah, really. Sorry. Like, you need to spend time in order for them to understand and like you. Honestly. No, no, he's not upset. I wonder if he's still upset. Oh, well, I can't force him to tackle on. You literally just did that when you dragged you him to Oni do. Mountain. You always force him to do the things. Fuck you and your character growth. It's a detriment now. Let's just take care of this ourselves. You can decide where we head first. Let's get all of Ogre, Mo Ogre Pond's masks back, all right? Oh. I can't stay mad at Kieran whenever I see that smile. I can't. I can. You're more than welcome to, but... That smiling little Pokemon just erases all, oh, all thoughts of anger Ogre from me. Yes. Ogre Pond smiling face. I'm like, the fuck you mean? I've never seen that yes. little shit smile. No, not Stereo him. Pond. I'm talking about Ogre Pond. Seeing Ogre Pond smile makes everything else not matter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's Baron's. Speaking... Speaking of comfort stuff. You two got plans tomorrow? Uh, not really, why? Brain was gonna do a stupid, but I'll tell y'all later. Because I don't okay. want to make promises on the street. We, we dive in into hell? Sure. What? I, I actually broke down. I saw Pirate Software playing the game and I was just like... Alright, oh, I guess if it? he's playing it, it's not as bad as I thought it was, yeah. Shit, I'm down. I'm sure if you we can we can show you the ropes and stuff. I mean, it's. I mean, it depends because I got a stream tomorrow, and that stream is going to be Okami. Well, I, was gonna say, I mean, we could stream. We could stream Hell Divers too. Yeah. Show the show the world our dedication to democracy. Yeah. <laughs> Our loyalty to liberty. Exactly. <laughs> A promise to prosperity. But anyway. Hey, I'm a traveling app developer. Chill him. I see you got a Rotom phone. Here, let me add a snazzy new feature for you. Here, stranger, let me download this software to your phone that has all of your personal information on it. I'm totally Be just a software developer and Be not a hacker that's trying to steal your identity. Wait a Honestly, minute, hold on, what's this? The upper and lower on, frames of compatible phone? apps can be set to match the design of your phone case. Give it a whirl with different phone cases to try a new look. Why is that not a feature? Honestly, they, they had to wait till the DLC to put that in. They mm -hmm. had to give it to this random dude! And this random dude app. you may have never have talked to to begin with! And they make it an app. Oh, there's the boy. It... It the boy. Oh, crap. I will be right back. Oh, good grief. No, oh. oh, you're not letting us watch the boy. Damn it. Fine, you can All watch right. the boy. I just don't Thank want people you. coming in and thinking, oh, he's not doing anything. Don't worry, we'll just tell them that you died. <laughs> We're just reveling in the cute. God, the reset, the resetting of the animations is always so jarring for me. There he goes. There he is. Welcome to the last who knows how many minutes of Thunderstorm's Pokemon <clears throat> stream where all we do is watch Overpawn run around. It's an ASMR now, except we're talking at full volume. It's not ASMR, it's just comfort stream. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we can just keep Ogrepawn out there constantly, even after we finish this arc. 
because if he has to go into a Pokeball, and then when we call him out and he doesn't act this way, I'm gonna be sad. He died. Oh, nah, he's going to sleep. He got EP. Fucking narcolepsy moment. Well, no, he, he tired himself out by running around all that much. Yeah, I ran around a whole bunch and then just, like a light, fucking passed right out. I mean... Didn't even that's... take the time, didn't take the time to sit down, then lay down, get comfy and sleep. Just literally dropped down like a rock. Cosmo, you act as though you've never seen a child. I don't see child. I've never seen children before. They scare me. This is this is quite literally how like toddlers to kindergarten age are. Just I take a nap. Period. I take a nap right here. Can I? Literally, they they run around full sprint for like hours, and then they realize they're tired and they're just like, all right, flop. I know I probably shouldn't have memories of when I was a toddler, but I cannot remember ever doing that. I mean, not as exaggerated as here, but obviously Ogrepon isn't actually a child, like a human child, so... Is it Sentry gonna come and kick his ass? Nah. Oh, here it comes. It's just looking at him. Nope. Oh. Yeah, he's oh. a... <laughs> oh. oh dear. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh no. He's been possessed. Thunder Monkey seems Dory. To have... Thunder seems to have gotten, uh... Some things happening to him. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hey, you're back. Yeah. Your, that uh, just your killed model... Him. Your model seems to have, uh, been possessed for a second there. <laughs> also, that yeah, Centric totally just His neck may have broken killed. once or twice. That Sentra just beat the fuck out of Overpawn while you no. weren't looking at the for a while. No, it didn't. How dare you. So, Cosmo, yeah. you, you asked that question like you had something in mind you wanted to do. That was... We'll talk Thinking about it after of... stream, whatever it is. Sure. Ah. But we could do the thing you suggested as well, at some point. But yeah, so I... Well, there's another thing that we talked about last stream that we could also do. Well, we could do the last Airbender watch party. Oh yeah. We can't, because it's not on Prime. That, that's the Prime Twitch... That's the Twitch terms. We didn't say it had to be on Twitch. Could just be the three of us, or whoever yeah, else but, wants to join. Yeah, but you said we Do can't. It. You said on stream, and I was gonna say we can't do that on stream. I didn't. I didn't say that one on stream. I said I said we talked about it on last stream. Is what oh. I said. We didn't say we talked about doing it on stream. Though we could have if it were on Prime, but we cannot because it is not. I don't know what Prime is. At least I think that's the rule. Amazon oh, no. Prime Video, Cosmo. Because Probably Amazon has to. It's basically Netflix, but just Jeff Bezos owns it instead of whoever owns Netflix. And there's I honestly not as much on there. They got Vox Machina, they got the Good Omen. That's true. They had, the only two they had the Legends of Vox Machina, they had Invincible, they had Good Omen. No, I think I Invincible is Hulu. Good no? No, it's no, Prime. It's Prime Video. Yeah. Prime also yeah, apparently has Hasbun Hotel now. now. That too. I don't heard watch it though. Things. It's just not my thing. Yeah, I heard same. I like the premise in all of it, but like, there's some, 
There's some problematic things in there that just we don't want to talk about. I don't know anything about that. I just remember watching the pilot and just thinking, like, I can appreciate the art style and the effort here, but it's just not my thing. I like the pilot. I was actually kind of excited for the show for a while. Then it was just kind of like, I think I've grown out of it. I've lost the interest. Which is unfortunate because I fucking love musicals. The world needs more musicals. You like musicals? What about operas? I don't think I've ever seen an opera. Have you seen Les Mis? Les Miserables? No. Yes. Because ah. that sure is an opera. Good. Yes. But which one's the correct one to see? I'm pretty sure there's been like more than just one movie made of it, and I know that one of them was yeah, not good. Uh, if you can find a like a screening or something of like the original stage play, that would be a good one to watch. But oh yeah, that's uh, unfortunately got the... he. <laughs> I am in the not America. I know. <laughs> I didn't say watching it live. I said a screening, as in a recording. Like a recording of a previous screening of it. Have which you guys is all over the seen... internet. Have you guys seen Twisted? Never heard I of it. I have not, but I know what you're talking about. Twisted is a musical parody based off of the story of Aladdin. But told from Where... Jafar's perspective. The true story. And it is fucking funny as fuck. I love it. It's made by a... I forget what they're called. But they're a YouTube group that does, like, musical and operatic stuff. Parodies, obviously. But, hmm. yeah. It's the quote-unquote also... true story of the story of Aladdin told from Jafar's perspective. Ah. Uh, is that anything like Khan the Musical? I have no idea what that is, so I don't know. Khan the Musical. The Wrath of Khan, but it's a musical. Composed by uh, Brent Black... Uh, I think it, his last name is Blackwell. Whom you know as Brent of Floss. Friend, I don't know what the Wrath of Khan is. Even. You, it's a Star Trek movie. Have you never seen it? The only thing I know about Star Trek and Star Trek movies is the meme Khan. That's the that's one from it's that. from. That's the movie it's yeah. from. I know of the movie, now that you mention it. I just didn't know it was the Star Trek one. I thought there was... There, do you realize how many different things have the name Khan in it? No, actually. I do realize that there's there a lot of things with Star four. in the name. That too. But the Wrath of Khan could mean actually several different things. But when you say Star Trek the Wrath of Khan, then I would have understood immediately. Either way, as this stream drags on for another 30 minutes longer than it should, all I have to say is we should watch Twisted. The Tale of a Royal Vizier. Meh. And what do you mean? You are going to watch it and you're gonna fucking like it. Meh is his Meh. default response to being told to watch something. Fuck. <laughs> the See, lyrics actually go fucking hard. It, uh, it, I don't. It's, it's do not well... just. It. No, see, here's the thing. I don't do well when people tell me to do something. Pat, pat. Right, well, I have I'm to not want gonna... to do it. Yeah. Oh, so it's I'm not gonna syndrome? tell you to do it. Damn. If that ain't it. Anyway, I'm not gonna tell you to go watch it because now I know how that works. But I can't Dory tell got you bigger. why. Damn! Yes, wearing the mask. Is he cheeked up? 
No, but it is wearing its mask, I'm sure. That's why it's all powerful or whatever. I'm trying to remember- And you know what? what? We're probably gonna get to fight with Ogre Pond because it has its mask. Well, that's a good point, actually. But we'll do that next time on the weekly Pokemon stream. You don't want to pick on Monkey just because we're here? Probably best, some, probably something to do best when we have the other fellas here watching at not 12.30 in the morning. I guess you're right. Plus we get to appreciate Ogre Pond having fun right there for a little bit. <laughs> I still just cannot get over how adorable it is. I <laughs> looked at that cute little march. And it just walked right through you. Bean. <laughs> We've only had him for like two yep. hours. There he goes, randomly screaming into the. No Jesus fucking Christ! What? He got EP. He fucking just falls over so fast. There's no no warning. No nothing. It's just four thirty a.m. for me. Oh, why are you oh, still going up? <laughs> oh, go get some sleep. Why are you up so late and or so early? Greenwich Mean Time. Bed last. Uh, good old British. Well, we don't know British per se. Well, Greenwich Mean That's Time is that area. It's in the yeah. United Kingdom. Yeah, but I know some people are a little... Some people don't like the idea of being British. No, though, we, just, we just have friends from the UK, so yeah. we know Greenwich Mean Time. If I had a nickel for every UK person I know with a broken sleeping schedule, I'd be rich. Actually, though... Yes, I'm British. Ah, okay. Yep. One of our closest friends is also British. And she is... fun. <laughs> <laughs> she is an interesting individual. That's all I'll say about her. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I imagine the stuff's better at night. You can watch the wacky weirdos on the other side of the pond being wacky and weird. <laughs> Why would I want to be awake in the morning when it's nice and dark and silent at 4 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that's so... that's such a mood I can't even... I can't even fathom how much of a mood that is. If it wasn't for the... If, if it wasn't for the fact that I have to be quiet during the dark hours of the day, yeah, I would enjoy the night a whole lot more. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I like quiet. And I don't... I'm not, you know, except when I'm talking, I don't naturally make a lot of noise. Yeah. I also like the quiet, but I also like it because it's quiet and I'm the only one around that makes noise. I think... Pug is the only one in our circle of friends who doesn't have ADHD. Speaking of ADHD, I got hit with another fucking hey. That's an ADHD symptom. And every single time that comes up, I'm just like, God damn. I want to say I have ADHD. But I also have enough respect to know that I shouldn't do that because I don't have a diagnosis. Both to 2 a.m. the drunks go home, so it's not silent enough. 3 a.m. night shifts head to work. 4 a.m. is bliss. Yep. I love how he like is squeaking at you, like, "What are we doing? You just standing there? What's going on?" <laughs> Speaking of ADHD. We've been trying to end the stream, but we're just here talking about how we potentially have ADHD. That is, watch that is an absolute ADHD moment right there. God damn it, no! I mean, I'm just letting you two vibe. That's all I'm doing. No, there's another one! The fucking... <laughs> the, the tail! The... 
the all ADHD people group together. It's real. Hey Dove, do you like pun do you like puns? I think they said yes. No? Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> Finally someone on my side. Tell the pun anyways. You never know if it's sarcastic. Take a good look at that uh, war turtle emote, what it's called. Cool, great. Now I gotta go to Twitch. All of all of his all of his emote names are puns on the name <laughs> of the Pokemon. Not all of them, but I try to squeeze them in where I can. Damn you, Twitch. How dare you send me codes to my phone? <laughs> but the War Turtle one, I think, is particularly clever. My dude, it might be time to end the stream. Ogre Pond's gotten a solid three naps in at this point. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Wait, wait, I, 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 gotta, I gotta speed this up. Like, our boy is Eepy. <laughs> Eepy doing a sleepy. Mm hmm. And I kind of want to join him. for some no. one to raid. I am never gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> That's that right there is me when I find out they have an ogre pond plush. Because <laughs> you know I'm gonna buy that shit immediately. The ogre pond requires rest. It's their one defining characteristic. <laughs> I kind of love the fact that the text-to-speech bot actually says it correctly. That's the funniest part to me. Honestly, yeah. I almost... I almost misspelled it. Damn, that monkey's at as fuck. Anyway... We should... I've, I've got- I've got someone to raid. Hang on a second. Okay. Actually, wait, before I do that, because it's going to lock me out if I don't. Here is our read message. Wow, wow, booby. I have not watched a single dude. Thing. This is our raid message. So be sure to copy that. We Hello. are going to be raiding Sleepy Riri, who is currently playing Legends Arceus. They made a fourth one. Uh... What? Mm -hmm. Oh, Kung Fu Panda. Time. Yeah, I'm I'm recovering from that information and I'm surprised you have a dirt till now. That movie's out. It's out and it's mixed reviews. Which isn't surprising because it's like the fourth, the fifth the fourth movie. Movie that, sh yeah, the fourth movie that should have ended at like two. Yes. Me. Well, if it wasn't actually, for the, the fact that they teased the third one after the second one, then. The, the yeah, third one, I've heard the villain's really good. Eh, the third one... Eh. It's inoffensive, I'll say that. The first one established the characters, and I really liked it. The second one honestly had a really good story and message to it. It's hmm. the best one in the entire series. Absolutely. Yep. Stands yep. alone as its own masterpiece. Third one, and yeah. uh, it was all right. Yeah. Yeah. 
You anyway. lose nothing if you go watch it. Anyways, go on. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, what have you, wherever you are. Uh, and uh, I'll let you two continue, but the uh, raid timer is about to run out. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the flamioli. <laughs> Bye. Hello. See you all next time. So it's 